So hey guys, welcome to the first video of the series. Today in this video, we are going to see that how can you install Flask and PyCharm ID in your computer. Firstly, you will be needing two things. First is Python, obviously. Just go on Google and download your Python. You have to go on the first website, that is python.org. And then click on this download button. This will download the latest version of your Python. That is 13.1, 3.13.1. Just download this. It is downloaded. And make sure to check both these options. Add Python exe to path and uh, use admin privileges. What this uh, feature will do is this will add your Python to your environment variables. Like I, I will show you this. These are the environment variables and this will add this under system uh, system path. Just cancel this and customize installation. Next. And uh, make sure to co uh, copy this path. Now click on install. This will install your Python in your computer. Till then uh, you can go on Google and search for PyCharm. Just go on first link. That is from jetbrains.com. Now click on download button. This will redirect you to a page where you can see this. This is the PyCharm professional version. But you don't need to download this because this is a paid version. With a free 30 day trial. If you want the trial you can go with this. But for the free version. Here you can see the community edition. Just download this. Now the download will start. I have already downloaded this. You can see that. Now go on command prompt and check for Python version. Python space hyphen hyphen version. From this, you can make sure that your Python is correctly installed. If it is not, then you have to go. Uh, now I will show you what you have to do. If your Python version is not showing, then only you have to do this. I did this system environment variables, environment variables. Under system environment variables, click on path and then edit. Here you have to add a new path. The one that you have copied from C slash users slash program data while installing Python. Here you have to add this. And just then click OK, OK, and OK. Then this will show your Python version. Now what you have to do is, our Python setup is successful. You, we need to close this. Now we have to uh, check for PyCharm installer. Uh, click on next. Keep it default and make sure that you have at least 2 GB of space for this software only. Check all the boxes. Install. Now this will start installing our PyCharm ID. Till then you can check your Python installation. If you know that this is the default ID for Python. Click on open. Here you can check your Python. Print hello world. You can see that we are uh, getting our output. You can say uh, 
uh, we are performing like mathematical operations this will also do so this means our python is properly installed close this and our pycharm is already almost installed I will fast forward this part. Okay, so this will ask uh, you to reboot your system, but you can click on I want to uh, manually reboot later and then finish. Now go in pie, your pie charm. Skip this import. And click on new project. Here you have to make sure that uh, this project VENV is selected. I will tell you why this need to be selected. Just click on create. Uh, v in v, v e n v is uh, created. Now what you have to do is click on the uh, this option, and then then again on file and new. Click on Python file. Let's name this uh, file as test flask. This will be a Python file. Now what you have to do is, let's uh, write our basic code. I will tell you what this line is actually doing. app equal to capital F under underscore underscore name now you have to create a route make sure that your route must be in a string Create a function for that particular route. Let's name this function as index function. And this function will return hello world. Now run this app. Basically, this is our web application. That's why it is named as app. App dot run debug equal true. Debugging mode is on here. Now click on run button. This will give an error. Now I will tell you why this giving this is giving an error. Until then. I will tell you what this code is actually doing. Firstly, this is importing Flask. From Flask, oh, oops, sorry. From Flask, import Flask. From Flask, import Flask. And then our app is named from this particular module. And a route is created then. And whenever this, whenever a person will hit this route, this function will execute. And this function will return hello world on the screen. Okay. Now we have to uh, run this program. For that, go on terminal. Just wait for some seconds. Yeah, you can see that uh, there is dot venv. That simply means that your virtual environment is active. 
now what basically a virtual environment is virtual environment is created for some project specific task uh, let's say you have you are creating this project and you need flask for this and in other project you need django so you will not install flask on your system level just install flask for this project only so for that purposes we will need virtual environments now click uh, now type pip install flask this will install your flask in your virtual environment we can upgrade your uh, we can upgrade our pip also by this command so our pip is also upgraded now click on this run and go on uh, go in your browser and type type the same thing which uh, you have got there or you you can just copy this here you can see this uh, which we have typed there if you want to change this no problem just save this and reload your page just a second make sure that this is saved and now reload let me check why this is not uh, updating Let's run our program again. Guys, we can try changing the port actually. Just you have to type here port equal to. Let's say you have to give uh, 2500. Let's give this at 8000. And save this program. And then rerun. Now our server is at 8000 port. This is a, you can see that uh, port number is changed and this is 8000 now. Uh, here you can see that the output which we want we get. One more thing with this function or basically program. Now let's import URL for and import redirect function and now let's create a new route here tab dot route here again in strings let's name this route as uh, my name okay now we will create a function inside this let's name that function as abc colon return now what this will do this will return redirect now, uh, now let me show you redirect url for in strings index function let me tell you what this is actually doing whenever someone will hit this route uh, this function will hook you and this will return redirect url for index that simply means whenever someone will hit this route he will be redirected to url of index that means the uh, this page our home page or landing page you can say whenever someone will hit he will get again redirected to this particular route now let's check this
our server is started. Okay, now let's check this route. You can see that whenever I am hitting this route, you can see I am pressing enter. You uh, you are getting redirected to our index page because uh, this is the redirect for URL function. Sorry, index function. So that's all for this video, guys. Hope you have liked this. Now let's see you next time.